Welcome everybody on YouTube for our next deck, Naya Legends. This is a deck that we're playing a lot of fun cards that are fun. Certainly like all these legendary things. Um, been a little disappointed with Ravnica Legions not having more legends in it. Because <laughs> I want even more things for our legendary sorceries. And here we got one copy of Jaya's Immolating Inferno, two Kamal's Druidic Vow, and two Urza's Ruinous Blast for our legendary sorceries. Of course, to cast those, we need legendary creatures or planeswalkers on the battlefield. So we got lots of different legendary creatures and planeswalkers to have on the battlefield. Our sideboard's kind of a mess. Eh, not really. We just got we got our anti-aggro stuff in Coil and Clarion, and we got our anti-control stuff with a Johnny and Vast... Vance's Blasting Cannons. Um, and Ru Urza's Ruinous Blast is for Golgari. And Carnage Tyrants for Control. Dawnbringers for Aggro. There we go. This deck, uh, you don't really see the same hand twice in this kind of deck, which is certainly some of the appeal. And uh, let's get going. Naya Legends. The new planeswalkers are decent legendary enablers. Yeah, because they're yeah they're pretty cheap, so that's that's certainly true. Yeah, we are playing a white deck without main deck Ajani. That is true. Ajani doesn't fit in our deck real well. I have one in the sideboard to have like an uh, another card to be able to play on turn four. Ooh. I like this hand. If only Timber Gorge was Stomping Ground, we could have turn two Tajik. But alas, it is not. So let's go ahead and pay the two life for Llanowar Elf here. So next turn I can just play Amara plus Timber Gorge, and then after that I can play Tajik or Captain Lannery Storm. You see the possibility storm puzzle. No. I, no, I haven't seen that. Fidel. Hey, nerd girl. Howdy. All right, what'd they take? Ah, oh, they took Amara. Okay, so no Amara this turn for us. So we got to wait a turn before Landry Storm or Tajik. Which it's, I think I'm gonna go with Tajik. I could just play Weatherlight. We'll kind of see what our opponent does. I could just play Weatherlight, and then be able to have Tajik crew Weatherlight. I don't really want Weatherlight getting countered. How are they going to get rid of Weatherlight with only Contempt? All right, I'm going to go Lannery Storm and Timber Gorge. Yeah, it certainly feels like Sinister is up, right? That's what I was. That's what I was feeling. Okay, Lannery Storm worked. We got a treasure, so we have um three, four, five, six. We'll have six mana next turn, which isn't quite. That's fine, so that worked. So we can't quite go to Tajik plus Weatherlight. Ah, we're playing the deck. We're playing against the deck we were just playing. Ah, Search for Escanta is legendary, unfortunately. Blast is, is not going to take out Search for Escanta. Hmm. We're not good against Niv Mizzet, of course. Like if if this is Niv Mizzet this turn, that's a big problem for us. I can't I just can't I can't beat a Niv Mizzet here. Alright, Blade Wing's not bad. We can beat a Blade Wing. 
I hope they don't have fungal and in fungal infection. I'm not going to play around fungal infection, but I hope they don't have it. I couldn't vote for... I could not cast Druidic Vow until I, I crewed Weatherlight or, you know, like... Uh, cancel. I couldn't actually cast Druidic Vow. Yet. Because even with Weatherlight in play, it's unless it's a creature, I don't have, like, the creature or Planeswalker. Alright. Weatherlight worked. We get a look at the top five. Um, Aurelia or Karn? I'm kind of feeling this Karn. Dude, yeah, legends are so sweet. Oh, this deck's great. If y'all aren't enjoying this, you, you don't enjoy magic. This is awesome. Ooh. That's the same as our hand. Two pair. Alright, so now next turn we can Druidic Vow for four. But we'll probably hit a land drop, so we're probably going to be able to do it for five. Because we certainly want to do it for at least five. We have so many five mana legends. Okay, well, now we can't do it for nearly as many. That's bad for us. Please stop. Hmm. Squee, you're supposed to be Tajik, so you can crew. So I could I could minus two Karn and make a token and have Squee plus token crew Weatherlight. That doesn't really get us anywhere. Um. I think we tick up, hit a land drop, Val for four. Good choice. Ruin Blast isn't going to do anything. All it'll do is exile the Dragon's Horde. That's not really worth it. Like, that's legendary. That's legendary. I think I do this for four. Alright, Grand Warlord, Squee, New Karn. I Keep will defend my allies. Um, then uh, I think I just tick up again. The choices we make reveal who we are. <laughs> okay, I'm sold on this deck when it gets all the mana next set. <laughs> um yeah, I think we can let I think we can let uh, Karn take a hit. Let's add a green to the mana pool in case we draw a land. Or no, we can't get a land war elf. Uh, we'll take Vivian. Vivian's good. Vivian kills dragons. Yeah, it's not all. Yeah, it's all permanents with Val. All all legendary. Permanence and lands. Black while we dance with the devil. So I certainly want to. I certainly want. Oh no! So I was trying to say I certainly want uh, Karn alive next turn because I really want to get my other vow. I only have one other vow, so Karn's not going to be alive though. Your crew for my freedom. <laughs> A fair All right, price. so no more vow. And for us. But we're still doing just fine. Our opponent's down to two cards. Stop. Vivian will kill their blade wing. I could have just Vivian kill Search for Scanta. How'd they do on Search for Scanta flipping? We'll flip next turn. Probably need to kill Search for a Scanta, honestly. Uh, the problem with playing Vivian is I don't get to cast 
Oh, I, I guess I can cast one squee. I can't cast two squees. Alright, what if I play... No, that won't work. Urza doesn't do anything. Yeah, Urza's only... Urza, Urza's blast only kills Dragon Sword. These are all legendary things that our opponent has, so Urza's doesn't do anything. Um... I think I have to kill Searchress, can't I? Oh, right. Casting two squeeze doesn't do anything, because they're legendary. Right. So that's not good. Let's see if you're worthy. No one said restoration was painless. I'll have Weatherlight back on D to block Bladewing. Nah, Searcher's Canta is such a better card than Bladewing. Searcher's Canta is very strong. I could just get him so many cards. No fire, no steel. They have too many legendary permits. Ooh, Tristani. Meet my newest friend. All right, one, two, three, four, five. So I can play Tristani plus Squee, or Dawnbringer plus Squee. I guess it's. Hmm. Tristani is nice in the fact that then Squee can crew Weatherlight by itself. And Grand Warlord Rada can attack also. Why can't they flip Bolas? Oh, he can flip Bolas. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Bolas can certainly be flipped. And they can flip Bolas and get put my Vivian into play. Let's go Tristani. So Grand Warlord Rada is certainly attacking. Just whether or not I, want, I wanted to attack with Weatherlight also. I think I do. I think Vivian's going to die. But I, I want to attack my opponent. I want to attack them for 9. Oh, that's true. If they go get my Vivian, then I get it back with Tristani. That's a good point. That's a good point. All right, they take both. Let's go get Shalai. Yeah. Shalai works really well with Grand Warlord Radha, adding that extra mana. No, like, if... Yeah, Tristani, if... If our... Or if our opponent takes any... Oh no, gains all creatures they own. Oh yeah, it doesn't work with Planeswalkers. I thought it was any permanent. Never mind, it's all creatures. Yeah, so it doesn't work. Never mind. They can they can take our Vivian. But that's still... The line that I'm talking about of them... If they Nickel Bolas, flip it, take Vivian, Vivian kill like Weatherlight. Uh... Varix Bladewing kill our Vivian. They're they're still dead. So I like where we're at. I don't think our opponent can win now, can they? No fire, no steel. I don't think that saves them.
they have like dive down. Yeah, they're they're just dead. So my plan there was I was gonna cast Shalai, have Shalai crew Weatherlight, attack with everything, add six mana, use the six mana that we add, add just six green mana, use the six green mana that we add to activate Shalai. Well, it's possible that Search Rose Cancer could have found some sweeper or something. Who knows? They just didn't have more cards to play because because they didn't have Search. All right, blast out. Um, Coil is good against everything but Niven Visit. So it's certainly be a Coil matchup. Carnage Tyrant seems kind of cool. Um, hmm. Carnage Tyrant has the problem, it cannot block. Now, I guess if I if I would have played Tristani, I would have had the, the creatures that Tristani makes to be able to crew. So, yeah, I could have done that plus Dawnbringer the previous turn. If you get a Blasting Cannons up in here. Sure. I want to play this Blasting Cannons. I haven't played that card yet. And I'm going to just play a Coil. Carnage Tyrant's good. But everything in our deck's good. So we're, we're good. I'm going to put a Coil in. I want to play this Blasting Cannons. I haven't played this... The Blasting Cannons card too much. Yeah, it's a good Blasting Cannons matchup. Uh, Vince says, Hey Todd, how's it going? I was wondering what you think about Skewer, the critics in Modern Skewer? Skewer? I'm going to have to learn how to pronounce that card. Um, in Modern with Application and Burn. Yeah, I could certainly see it being... Um, a card that's worth it in burn. Um, I think you're kind of looking at taking, like, like some people like playing, like, I don't think it's a, a wonderful card for burn. Um, it's kind of Lava Spike-ish. Some people like playing uh, the the one that where you sacrifice a land as additional to the cost. Or that card. And I think that your skewer the critics cards better than that. So I think it, I think it's spike folly. Um, I think that's kind of like where you're putting that in there. All right, campaign discard Amara, Aurelia. Uh, it's got to be Aurelia or Rada. Um, it's got to be one of these two. I'll get rid of Rada. <laughs> no, I could not replace Searing Blaze. Searing Blaze is so important for that deck. Searing Blazes. Very important for burn. Okay. We're doing fine. We got Tristani in play. Opponent has two cards in hand. They were on a mold of five, so like they didn't have lots of cards. Um, wow, they they got they surveilled over both of these cards, including contempt. 
Where Contempt, you would think, would be a good answer to Tristani. Man, I don't want to get rid of Val. But I think it's worth it. I think we're just going to win the game with these. Or at least try to win the game with these. See the, the new in information campaign? Yeah, it's not necessarily significantly worse than disinformation campaign. Oh, that is not a good card. All right. Got the first match. Naya Legends doing its thing. Certainly could have gave Life Linker plus two plus plus two there. The, our life total is not going to be a reason why we lost that game if we lost that game. I was just clicking stuff. Uh, yeah. If we get one land, we can play Captain Landry Storm, which will get us a treasure to be able to go towards Karn. And Vivian, really, just we need we need our our land for Captain Landry Storm for the treasure, because then treasure we get to cast Karn. There we go, that's the land. All right, we're in there. What does the new campaign do? It's it's like you gain life instead of they discard a card. I think it's like it's like gain two life and you draw. Yeah, so instead of they discard and you draw, it's you gain two life and you draw. And then if you cast an instant during your main phase, then you put it back in your hand. Alright, they did take the Lannery Storm. Hey, it's Grixis to Fairy! That's my deck. Let me some Grixis to Fairy. Thought sees bug. And. We only have two Lannery Storms in the deck, so that Thoughtseize these bugs certainly worked well for us. Um, do I want to play Vivian this turn? Yeah, I kind of want to cast Vivian. Yeah, I know, Captain Lantern Storm. I have to do this post combat, so you, your plus two doesn't matter. Mm. That's okay. Okay, so you've got claws. Ugh. Don't take my other Vivian. Or my Karn. Take the Squee. Take the Squee. Take the Squee. Dang. They didn't take the Squee. Good old Thoughtseize bug. Worked again. We have two Karns in the deck. We have two Lannery Storms that worked. Two Karns in the deck. It's not like we have more of these cards. We only have two of each of these. They take one and then we draw the other. Nazi's bug confirmed. This is some weird shuffling though. Then we get our other our last Vivian and our last Squee are the other two cards. This is some weird shuffling. We've drawn both of our Lightning Storms, both of our cards, both of our Squees, and all three of our Vivians. Kind of crazy. A curious choice.
And there's our second Shauna, obviously. Would you like to see what's left? Vivian to getting see? there. <clears throat> the shuffler likes to meme like that sometimes. Um so we got Grixis to Fairy. So Urza's Ruinous Blast is a cut yet again. Uh Carnage Tyrant coming in, so is Blasting Cannon, so is a Johnny. Um It's another cut. Immolating Inferno. And then, uh, is a Johnny actually going to be good? Maybe I don't want a Johnny. A Johnny's pretty vulnerable to a Nickel Bolas, which I don't really want to like have in a, play in a Johnny, and they attack it with Nicky B. <laughs> no, the Thoughtseize bug's not actually a thing. Yeah, Coil kills. Nicol Bolas, but that's it. I don't think I want to just put it coils in my deck for only Nicol Bolas. I got Vivian Reed for that. All right, what card am I cutting? Grand Warlord Rada. I got this Weatherlight chilling down here too. That card's cool. Uh. Maybe I don't get to play a Johnny. Yeah, a Johnny's like for the control decks that don't have creatures that are attacking you. This one has creatures that are attacking you. Crater Maker, Crater Maker in the Naya Value deck. I have not tried Crater Maker in that deck. I could dump Aurelia. Could certainly dump an Aurelia. Or a Dawnbringer. Those do block kind of well. We got turn 2 Tajik, turn 3 Aurelia, turn turn 4 Dawnbringer. This is a curve right here. We can have Tajik next turn, and then Aurelia, then Dawnbringer. Man, this on the play would have been uh, ridiculous. Yeah, we could dump Huali also. Huali's cool, though. Huali, we can, like, tick up and then, like, the minus kills the Nickel Bolas after that. I built a blue-white version of your Bant Legends and went undefeated at FNM. Way to go, Grumpy. Good job. Uh, I guess we'll just play another one of these. Get an attack in. Good job, Grumpy Pants. We'll see how many counter spells they got. There's the first one. Definitely a really good hand for the opponent, of course. Like that's a that's the difference of being on the play or on the draw. If we're on the play, our Tajik's attacking them like when their tap land is. But being on the draw, they get to thought erasure away the Tajik, sabotage the Aurelia, you know, stuff like that. Unfortunately, Carnage Tyrant is not legendary. So Carnage Tyrant does not turn on Kamal's Juridic Vow. Priest of Forgotten Gods. Still still a good curve though. Turn turn five Carnage Tyrant. Um It's gonna be an interesting card for sure. It does a whole lot. You know, it it does a whole whole lot. That'll be an interesting card to kind of build around. Doing a sealed draft, where do I start in terms of building a deck? Probably, I would say, the first thing you want to do is, is check out your rares and mythics. And see, like, kind of check out, like, what are your best cards like that. And see if, like, if, you know, if you have, like, some deep colors to go along with those uh, rares and mythics. And, like, how many of the rares and mythics you can play and stuff like that. That's the place to start. I 
I didn't live through hell to lose to you. Boom. Yeah, playlist, exclamation point playlist. Can't thought seize the top of the deck. Certainly cannot. Deny Legends is sweet. Oh. What else we got? Meet my newest friend. Really mind playing another creature out. It's pretty unlikely that they have Star of Extinction. They have to have a red source. Another red source plus Star of Extinction. It's pretty unlikely. But they have like Ritual of Soot. I don't care too much. Alright. We got Crixus to Fairy. Yeah, two mana resilient 7-7. Seven, seven. Alright, two no. That was nasty, dude. This deck is sweet. Man, that that curve we had there, too. Yeah, that may have been Esper... Esper... Nicobolus. I made this deck, a Flyingling. Yeah, this is a deck I made. All, all the Legend decks were all... Or all decks that I made. <laughs> exactly, Alien Toy Shop. That's what I'm thinking too. I don't really care if Wally's necessarily worth it or not. I want to play it. Okay. We unfortunately drew Mox Amber. Isn't great, but we'll we'll see if we can. We need this Amara to stay alive for sure. If Amara dies, we're in big trouble. I find myself harboring an incredibly deep-seated hatred towards Jeskai control players. It's all I ever play against on Arena, and they always have what they need. It's infuriating. I'm really sorry you feel that way. Okay. We're playing against Mono White, which is good for us with this hand, because it means that Amara's probably not going to die. All right, let's get one more land for Tristani. Not another land for Tristani, but we do have Shalai here. Because, like, my plan was just Immolating Inferno and deal two to it, two to that, two to that, two to that. But now we get Shalai, so let's just play Shalai. Mox Amber coming through clutch, and I'm not going to... Attack with Amara and have it die in case they do have like a Conclave Tribunal for the July. Alright, come on, land. Sweet. Sweet. Man, this deck's so cool. Uh, it's been working out for us so far. We've been really curving well these last these games here. Curving real well. Alright, we can kill three things. So we kill So we can do one, two, three, four, four damage. I guess I could activate Shalai also. But I think I want to deal four damage. I think I want to kill Vanguard Night Knight. Um, is it better to activate Shalai?
Yeah, do I need to worry about heroic reinforcements? Do I need to attack with less things? For heroic reinforcements? I guess I should attack with that. Definitely gonna attack with that. I guess I can attack with this. Yeah, we're fine. We can just block things with these 2-2s two with heroic reinforcements. We're fine. Yeah, and Amara's making 2-2s two here, so certainly attacking with that. Ooh, our opponent has Dawnbringer. Fancy. Well, the dawn has been brought. I've lost so much opponent. already. I won't lose more. Are they gonna be sad? <laughs> Um, true. They were sad. All right, so we got Deafening Clarions for this matchup. Didn't seem like we really needed it there. Our deck's just kind of great. Urza's Ruinous Blast gets rid of everything except for, like, Dawnbringer. That's probably just a great card. Let's have those. And, like, three Clarions, four Clarions. Pro problem is with the Danta Vanguard surviving Clarion. That's annoying. I don't want to have, like, lots of them. I guess I'm going to take out a Squee. Um, take out another Squee. Maybe I'll just take out two Squees. I don't think Inferno's going to do what it did there most of the time. I think Inferno just kind of replacing with Clarion's good. We got the extra Blast in there, too. Nah, M MTG Arena deck import was working for me today. Is Squee a good trader? Uh, Lannery Storm. Lannery Storm's never going to get through. Right? We'll put the Squee back in. Let's take a Lannery Storm. It costs three. It can block Vanguard. Do I want extra clair? Do I want the fourth Clarion over anything else? I don't think so. Weatherlight may not be great here. That's fine. All right, let's go. Maybe you can cast Squee from your sideboard. <laughs> yeah, it would be a ten out of ten if you could cast it from your sideboard. It would certainly be a one of in everybody's sideboard that played red. You just have a squee there, just in case. I don't need a shock just to play Lanor off, right? I don't need to pay the two life. We're not doing anything next turn. It's a Kotli Honor Guard. Is that card good? What does that stop besides Tristani? Does that stop anything besides Tristani? I'm not really thinking of anything else. They have a tribunal. I'd rather them use the tribunal on Aurelia than Karn. Urza's Ruinous Blast is going to be real good. going to be real good. We need one more mana. That's another mana. I don't like how these shock lands, though. You may regret that choice. <laughs> yeah, opponent. Don't give us that Urza's Ruinous Blast. 
You may regret that choice. Just letting you know, opponent, you may regret that choice. So they cannot get rid of both Karn and Aurelia, I don't believe. So I think we should be able to blast next turn. Please do not do that. Go to play like a Benelish Marshal or something. Something not legendary. Hmm. They didn't want to do that like... Oh, they didn't have the mana to do that before. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and minus one the Karn and put this back in my hand. They know about it there. Um... We can kind of keep the other one to maybe surprise them. I don't know if it really matters. But, yeah. <laughs> that was... That's a good card. Hers is Ruinous Blast. That's a good card. It is one-sided... Just exile all of your permanents. Is that good? I think that's pretty good. And our, our opponent played the Ixalan's Binding, even though they knew about it. I just went and got the one they knew about. <laughs> yeah, Zerf, this is dope. I mean, we are, we are to be fair, we've been curving out really well. Um, and so it's certainly been looking good. But yeah, it's a lot of fun to play. I'm, you know, I've been just all smiles over here playing this deck. Yeah, Urza's Ruinous Blast doesn't have that great of an animation, unfortunately. We are on the play. Hey, there we go. That gets some sub hype up in here. Sunder an army with the third month in a row. I can't wait to craft a deck for the next set that is going to make people hate me. Hey, what's up, Horatio? Thanks for getting that sub hype in the chat there, Sunder an army. That's our third sub of the day. If you're enjoying the stream also and like to help support me, as being a full-time streamer here, consider hitting that sub button up in the top right. You get access to 19 really cool emotes and a sweet tie badge in chat as well. All right, Mono White again. Dawnbringer should be able to take over this matchup as long as they don't have Tribunal for it. And even if they do, we have the Vivian. So I'm I'm hoping by four, our, our first three draw steps, we'll have something to do on turn four. We may not have something to do this turn. Okay, that's that's good enough. That's good enough. That means don't bring her next turn. I like it. That'll work. Ugh. Stretch. No blocks. Why no black blade in the deck? Black blade's just not that great of a card for constructed. Can we draw a Nurse's Ruinous Blast again? That was fun last last game. Um, I guess I should play Tristani. If they have, if they do have, uh, if they do have a Conclave Tribunal for Tristani, we still have two blockers. Like we can block Vanguard and Token, and then we can like kill that, get Tristani back. I don't know. Then play Dawnbringer. I think Tristani is a better lead here. Chat, we did it. We're really doing it. Alright. We may need a assault measure over there. That's gonna get exile my, these creatures on my side though. It's gonna attack in first. Oh, we're doing it. Hmm. 
Man, is it even worth to cast it if they're just going to block all these things? So I just cast Dawnbringer. I just blocked all those things. I guess I just cast Dawnbringer. Man, we have... It feels so good that we have an unbeatable card. And that we just get to play another unbeatable card. Poor opponent. All right, get that in, get these in, get these in. Cut this, cut those, cut that, cut that. Cut this. Come on, get back in here. I might get rid of Vivian. Maybe two Vivians. Roddy can come on back. All right, we get a Vivian back. There we go. Yeah, six six first strike lifelink against aggro. Yeah, they were probably thinking I had like Cleansing Nova or something like that, like since I was attacking with those things. What does Rada do? It's a 3 4 haste that whenever you attack with any number of creatures, you can add that much red and green mana to your mana, red or green mana in any combination to your mana pool, and that mana pool, that mana doesn't enter or exit your mana pool until end of turn. So you can attack with like two creatures, for example, and add two mana that you can use in your second main phase to cast something else. Or you can add a lot of mana to activate like a, a Shalai with it, for example. Yeah, it's possible Nia Legends is their favorite deck and they saw it coming. Alright, so we need a red source for this Clarion. If not, we got Shalai into Blast. Now we have Shalai into Dawnbringer into Blast. So we're looking good. Red source for turn three would certainly be nice. We'll see if we get there. It's not the red source that we were looking for. Still not the red source. Hoping they do not have Conclave Tribunal for Shalai. Oh, cool. Babalu says, this deck is great. I've been 4 0 at FNM and built it on here, and Urza's Blast just makes people so salty. That's awesome. I'm glad you, dude, you went to FNM with it. Really cool. Yeah, traditional play is, is 2 out of 3. Uh, that's what they're calling traditional play here on Arena. Alright, if our opponent does not kill Shalai, they are very dead. Just play History Banalia. History. Of Benalia. History. Uh. All right. This is the. This is the. This is the game here. Dawnbringer is our only card we can actually cast in our hand. We can't cast anything else. So this is the game. Do they? If they have removal spell for Dawnbringer, we're dead. Hopefully they don't. Looks like they do. They're saying good game. Yep, citywide bust. Ugh, no red for these Clarions. Unfortunately. Alright, citywide bust. Do I need to change anything for that? Maybe get fourth Clarion in over Rada. No, over Weatherlight. Yeah, we'll take out Weatherlight. Fourth Clarion. Yeah, cool. So. Nah, Druidic Vows are still good. I mean that you know, they obviously looked bad there, but they're they're still definitely a good card. All right, we got mana. This will be a keep.
we have other things to slow down aggro. I mean, we have four Deafening Clarions, four Lyra Dawnbringers. We're usually pretty good against aggro. Um, I think it's it's perfectly fine to have two two Haymakers like Druidic Vows in the deck. Why play Elves and Clarion at the same time? Well, sure, they don't they do not work well together at all, but if I have Clarion, I'm happy. If I don't have Clarion, I, I want that means I'm probably have a lot of my four or five and six mana things and I want Land War Elf to to get to them. So yeah, we definitely have to use a Clarion just to get Tajik out of there. We're not looking so great this game. Playing game two life. Thoughts on the new spoiled cards? Uh, you'd have to be a little more specific on than that. There's so many cards. Yeah. You really good hand for the opponent. Have come so far. I think they may get us here. You are capable of more than you have assume. Seven lands. Eight lands. Come on, deck. Help us out. Uh, we are likely going to lose this. I don't think we can beat this at Johnny. Will lend you my strength. I would like to draw Vivian. Thank you. Vivian would be our, our good card to draw. We could get some card advantage with it. Beasts, the wilds are my shield. Um, do I want to play Amara? I don't think. So. I think we want Dawnbringer. How to top deck a tutorial video. Yeah, see, that's what you. Uh, that's what you do. You just Look say what you want to draw, and then you draw it. Alright, so they have another answer to Dawnbringer. Then. Johnny can ultimate, um, which of course is a problem. So we need to draw another Dawnbringer here. You have, you do not fight alone. We need another Dawnbringer. So yeah, we need we need Dawnbringer. We got four in the deck for a reason. Let's draw a Dawnbringer. Ugh. We drew one non-land card. The one Vivian was our only non-land draw that we didn't, you know, we scryed the other Clarion to the top after our, our mulligan. So we mulled a six, scryed a spell to the top, and then the entire game after that, we drew one card. We drew that one Vivian. That was the only, that was the only spell we drew. We drew all lands besides that. So, that's rough. Cause how many, how many turns was that? How many draw steps was that? Was that eight? So we had five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that was, so we drew seven lands and a Vivian. Hmm. 
That's magic. Happens sometimes. So we have Lanamore off on two, which is just fine with us because we have all these four drops, uh, you know, like Karn and stuff that we want to have. We want to have Karn on turn three. We're still still ahead, even though we only get to play Land of Warlf on turn two, we're still ahead on uh, on our curve. Evil. How convenient. An excellent choice. And Karn will help us hit, hit our land drops. I think I want to go with Tristani next turn. Where Tristani can make multiple blockers for Midnight Reaper in case they have, you know, they have like Chupacabra, only for example. Yourself. Two Midnight Reapers is a little rough. Are you certain of your decision? Right, that doesn't even do anything yet. Yeah, it's a good song. Good song. It's not magic if you don't experience excessive land draw. Exactly. They want to draw two cards, which I'm fine with. They can draw their cards. We'll gain four life. I'm double blocking. I think a lot of people would just single block there. I'm double blocking to gain four life. Um, they could kill Tristani and then my token would die. So, you know, this is it's not like the safest double block in the world. Right above you is the, the song name. Right above you there. Uh, the Funeral by Band of Horses. The Weather Lights. Ah, uh, you left the channel for the link, gotcha. Called the funeral. I could have just blocked with Tristani and not let them draw in an extra card also. Or drawn two extra cards, but... Getting Midnight Reaper off the battlefield is certainly good. Alright, this time I'm going to block with Kusani. Doesn't look like they have a land. Um, so I can go three... How much mana we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ugh, I can't Storm and Dawnbringer. Oh wait, I have Land off also, I can, I can. Sweet, I can do both. All right, so let's let's start with Storm. Captain Lannery Storm, which is a, a pirate. Pirates crew flying boats. So we'll crew our flying boat. Go to attackers, whack them for five. Trigger. We'll get, I guess we get Shalai. Yeah, we'll get Shalai. And then play Dawnbringer. Because we have two Dawnbringers. This is Naya Legends that we're playing right now. Koala Bear. Why don't I crew the Weatherlight there to block? 
Guess I could have done that too. I didn't really want them drawing multiple cards. Like, you know, like they're making that attack to, to draw cards. I didn't really want to kill their thing. I didn't want them to find answers. All right, and now we got Shalai that protects everything else. Uh, I think this game's over. Yeah, this game's over. That'll do it too. So Shalai protect other things. Aurelia is gonna give Captain Lannery Storm. Trample. I want to give the the Captain Lannery Storm Trample. Cause like we're basically dealing three damage with it when they block with a three two instead of instead of just doing two extra damage with Dawnbringer. Like the vigilance doesn't matter. We're at millions of life, right? Vigilance doesn't matter. But yeah, all of it doesn't matter in the end. Uh, I have I have not played a Boros Angels in a long time. Um, I don't think I've played a Boros Angels in about probably a month or so. All right, Urza's Ruinous Blast. But I think I think the replays of my streams are up for two months. So if you want to go back like basically a month and just kind of look through and look for Boros Angels in the top left on the 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 deck list, but I don't know what day it would be. All right, we all I'm going to do is bring in this one extra blast. That's all I'm going to do. Um, what am I going to cut? I think the cut is Lannery Storm. Hey, Rev Daddy. Rada? Maybe the cut's Rada? Yeah, I think the cut's Rada. All right, let's go. I am not very familiar with the Lich's Mastery deck, no. I just realized with basic mount, basic mount, we cannot cast Amara. We're gonna need a different land to be able to cast Amara. It's a new bear, one white. Mm. I really wanted because with Mox Amber, we could have cast Amara here on turn two, and then turn turn three cast July or Aurelia. Would have been really nice. I played against. Golgari twice, and they Golgari'd me. Uh, so I just cast Lanowar Elf? Nah, I'll probably cast Squee. <laughs> no. You can't. Mox. The Mox doesn't work unless you have a legendary creature or planeswalker in play. Right now, it only adds red mana. Because it only adds mana of equal to the color of your legendary permanence. So, right now, it could add red mana for us. Make it two two. Let us begin. I need I need lands. I'll make use of that laser. Those are two good ones. 
take either one. Yeah, opponent's got a, a good curve. Um, that's not so much. I think they're going to get us here. We could still draw Urza's Ruinous Blast. So, we still have a, an awesome draw in our deck. There's a Zerunus Blast. Yeah. There's a Zerunus Blast. We get it, get it there for us. They're attacking out at us with just those. Hmm. I kind of want to play Huatli and just make a 3-3. They didn't play a land last turn, so they don't have a land for this Vivian. Are you certain of your decision? Well, I don't want to draw either of those cards. Um, Amara, hmm, I can play Amara and Tajik. I probably should have just made a 2-2, two -two, made a 3-3. Three -three. Yeah, they have another Chupacabra, I'm dead if I just play Huali. I gotta play two things. Alright, Tajik Amara. Or Tajik Lanwar Elf. <laughs> Gotta play two things. Um, the tick up, though, both those cards would have been bad draws. So we're closer and closer to Urza's Runa's Blast, so that's good. That kills us. Three. All right. Urza's Ruinous Blast. Come on, one time. Blast one time. Hmm. All right, we're going to have to tick up and hit two blasts. Right? Is there a realistic... No, there's not a realistic other option. We have to blast. Tick up and hit double blast. Ugh. Try it again. How will Electro Dominance work with Thousand Year Storm? As in, will the copies let you play more cards for free? Gosh, I have no idea. Honestly. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how that works. Yeah. <laughs> you got me beat there. All right, so we have to pay two life to cast uh, Shauna on turn two. Oh, you're right. I didn't even have the mana. You're no, you're right because with my creature dead, Mox Amber did not add any mana anymore. So I didn't even have the the mana for Blast that last turn. So I was I was just dead. Good call. Good call. I was considering, I was actually, I was honestly considering casting Druidic Vow for one, and if it's a land on top, then we get to cast Vivian next turn, but no, it's not worth it. I was considering it, though. Didn't, I didn't consider it too long, but I did consider it for a little bit. So Shauna's pretty nice. Shauna doesn't die to Chupacabra, so that's pretty nice. It's a, it's a good, reliable, legendary creature for us to have on the battlefield here. So I could cast Blast right now, um, but we're not going to do that. We're going to play Vivian, tick up. 
how this thing come to me. Wow. All right, we got a bunch of lands on the bottom of the library. So th this means this Kamal's Juridic Vow is going to be even better. Way more, so many more legends for it to hit. I'm not losing everything again. The wild balance comes. I think I still wait on blasting. Yeah, I want to wait for that Carnage Tyrant to be in play. You can't stop nature. You can only stop nurture. We get to almost kill Vivian. <clears throat> okay, so you've got claws. Almost kill Vivian. Yeah, if it was my top deck, I could have down ticked Karn for a land, right? But when when I was at the point of taking up Karn and hoping it was double blast, uh, at that point I couldn't have. Uh, no there. one knows the wilds like I do. And then they play Carnage Tyrant. Carnage Tyrant. Ah. There goes Aurelia. Play a Wild Growth Walker. Yeah, that's that's actually that's just great. <laughs> Cast down doesn't do a whole lot in their deck. I guess it's not necessarily great. Yeah, it's actually less great than I realized because now my Vivian's dying, ah, and I and my Shauna cannot kill the, their Vivian nature. now. Um, so I need I need to cast Druidic Vow here. I think. So we're looking at for five. Let's do that. Okay, we still gotta wait on blast. All right, Weatherlight, Tajik, Huatli, Land. That'll do. So I'm gonna. History is written by the victors. So I can minus two Huatli and kill the Chupacabra, and then be able to kill Vivian. Um, I could, I could minus one. I don't really want to kill the Chupacabra, though. That's the problem. I guess I'm not killing Vivian this turn. Yeah, I don't need to kill Vivian next, this turn. Let's just make a dino. Go and feast on their flesh. I don't need to kill Vivian this turn. They can tick up another time. I've seen things that would break someone like you. So yeah, I, I made a creature, so the Shauna was a 3-3, so I could attack Vivian for 3, they they chump block with Chupacabra. Um, but I don't want them to make that block. They get to they get to draw a card with because of Midnight Reaper and put Chupacabra in their graveyard. And I want I want to exile their their Chupacabra. I don't want them to draw a card. Yeah, Tajik has haste. So yeah, I could have I could have attacked both creatures, but then I could kill the Vivian that way, but then they get to come back and kill my Huali. And I, I don't think that's worth it. Cause this turn I'm I'm about to kill their I'm I'm about to kill their Vivian. Do I block this? No. All right, so this dino, this dino is going to crew. Then we're going to blast. Exile their, all their creatures and that dino. 
We're gonna make new dino. Come, sing the song of fame. Now Shauna kills Vivian. Weatherlight kill. Weatherlight hits them. We get to trigger Stars Weatherlight. Are lessons written in skin. Ooh. <laughs> you have to do better than that. Um, I'll take a Vivian. I don't get to. Don't get to cast it though. I'm one mana short, unfortunately. So now they have Carnage Tyrant, which is a little problematic, but thankfully, not only was it a board wipe, but it also exiled all their things, right? So all these cards are exiled, so they don't get any triggers with Midnight Reaper. These Chupacabras are gone. They're not going to be able to memorial them back. Balance comes. Captain Lannery Storm. Make this Shauna big. Go and feast on their flesh. Oh, are the F are the effects over my voice? My bad. I don't know. I haven't. They're loud. All right, let's see. Turn those down a little, little bit. So I think I want Shalai because we can play Shalai and activate it and put a lot of counters on stuff. Next turn. <laughs> the SEG. Why is the SEG channel doing stuff on a Wednesday night? But yeah. Hey, Versify, going really well. Every fight makes me stronger. No, my weather light. <laughs> Get that out of here. That's unfortunate. Ah, Commander versus. Well, I'm glad y'all are in here, I'm watching. Whew. Oh my gosh. All right, are y'all are y'all ready for this? I'm not sure if y'all are ready for this or not. Um I'm not sure if y'all are ready for this. I'm probably going to hit another Vivian, so I think I want to take this Vivian up first. Meet my newest friend. All right, we already have a Shauna. I'm going to take another Shauna from the deck. I want to keep Tristani in in the deck. Or no, no, we'll take just take Tristani. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Druidic Vow for ten. Alright, we get Mox Amber, Karn, Clifftop Retreat, Rootbound Crag. The other Karn doesn't matter as much. Aurelia, Shalai, Temple Garden, Sun Petal Grove. Sure, I'll pay life. I don't care. I am Karn. I am Karn. Um, I think I'll just minus and make a token. Some solutions must be built. Wasn't there lethal on board? Was the question. I don't know. Maybe. Is there still lethal on board? There may still be lethal on board. Play this thing. Hmm. So I can. I can get rid of my Huali to make the Branch Walker not block. And if I do that, I can't tell which things can attack or not. They have to block Shauna, and then they're taking 4 8. They're just taking eight. Oh no no! I have I have a Lannery Storm also. All right, so yeah, no, we can kill them. This is not what it's a fight, fight, fight you get. Me. That's a lot of voices. Uh, we'll just pump up this Lannery Storm. Get 
get that treasure. Yeah. So they have to block the 12-12 with Carnage Tyrant. And then they're taking 13, and they're at 11. Yeah, that deck command should work. There it goes. All right, four and one. That was certainly Urza's Ruinous Blast doing a whole lot for us. That was magic at its finest. <laughs> right? This deck's sweet. I'm not sure what happened, but I liked it. Yeah, email for business inquiries is ToddStevensMTG at gmail.com. Yep. All right, final boss time. Final boss time. Remember, you can watch you can watch this uh, replay also on YouTube. Don't forget to follow the YouTube channel, YouTube.com/c/ToddStevensMTG. Yeah, I should get a, an email command. That makes sense. Um, Time for the Nile Legends mirror. One and nine. I guess the Grixis Dragons is done uploading, so I can finish that one off. This may be this may be a mirror. Getting in there to go on getting in there to Jeek. Go ahead. Do your thing. I do not like seeing that Sulphur Falls. If our opponent I would have much rather preferred our opponent to be Boros Aggro here. Um You know, against Tristani, Aurelia, stuff like that. So it's gonna be ha much harder to be control. We're gonna really hope that we get to cast Kamal's Juridic Vow somehow. I'm not sure exactly how we're going to cast it or if it will resolve, but if, if Kamal's Druidic Vow is able to be cast and resolve, we're going to be feeling a whole lot better about life. Alright, almost done with this. Wally. Come, sing the song of fame. Yeah, Wally will carry us. I know. Hurry. Well, I could potentially. Huh. If they do not have negate here, we... Oh, no, 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 the the dinosaur gets exiled. Oh, but then Tajik has haste. Yeah, Tajik has haste. All right, hopefully they don't have a counterspell or a seal away. Or I guess the seal away won't matter. But yeah, they do not have counterspell. Um... We get these things back. Aurelia putting the thing on Tajik. Give it vigilance. Tajik attack to fairy. Boom. To phase you out of Make time. a dino. Go There's his ruinous blast. On their flesh. Nice enchantments. Niv, huh? All right, so I can I can vow for five and hope to hit Vivian. Um, I can I can minus one Huatli and say their Niv cannot block, also. Or I could just cast Tristani. If I if I cast Tristani and just go to attackers and say their Niv can't block and just hit him for a bunch. Let's vow for five. They're tapped out. 
What is this deck? This is my Naya Legends deck. It is sweet. Let's hopefully hit uh, Vivian. Well played. There's Vivian. And we get a land, a Squee, an Amara, and a Vivian. Vivian, kill that. Like. People, that can't help you now. Just make another dino. Come, sing the song of fame. Deafening Clarion, not doing very much against Tajik. Even if even if they'd have like a cleansing nova, we still have Huali and Vivian in play. And we would just be able to play Tristani. This deck is legend. Wait for it. Wait for it. Derry. Alright. Cannons. Tyrant. A Johnny. Coming on in. Um, Inferno. Blast. Blast. I think I, I am taking out Blast, even though it's, it's good against their enchantments. It's only good against their enchantments, and I have Vivian for enchantments also. So even though that was awesome that time, I could see my opponent trimming on enchantments and stuff also for how bad their enchantments were. There. Um, and the last card's going to be... Probably one of these fours. Shall I? Or no, we can take out Dawnbringer. I don't need Dawnbringer. Shall I? Not great either, but... Yeah, I certainly don't need Dawnbringer. Hey, what's up, Hawkeye? Um... <laughs> yeah, glad you like the deck, pa Pepper Slapper. This deck is good. Ugh. Where's the deck weakness? Um, I don't know. We lost to an aggro deck earlier because we are... We... We uh, mulligan to six, kept Deafening Clarion... Land of War Elf in four lands. We scried another Clarion to the top against Boros Aggro. And then we drew uh, seven lands and a Vivian for our eight draw steps. So that was our loss. Let's see. This hand's not very good. Hand's better. That card's cool. I'll keep that card. This can't play lands. Can that thing play lands? I really hope that thing can play lands. I don't think it can, though. Nope. It's, if it's a non-land card, you may cast it. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go dubs. I'll dubs up the, the land war elves here. If they have Deafening Clarion, I still get to Captain Lannery Storm and get a treasure. One question. The Vow just put them into play, right? Correct. Correct. You can sneakily bypass an active Ixlon's binding with that. Correct. I'll throw Shalai out there. So I don't mind if Shalai eats a counterspell, and yeah, I'd rather Shalai eat a counterspell than Blasting Cannons, and Shalai doesn't die to Deafening Clarion, like these other cards. So I can, I can play both. I crack the treasure second main. Captive Audience is a new card. 
I haven't seen this. Oh, this is the other Rakdos Mythic. All right, five, five BR, enchantment, ETB. Oh, enters the battlefield under the control of an opponent's choice. Or oh, wait, what? All right, I'm gonna keep the Mox Amber in hand to to maybe be able to cast three, three cards a turn with it. Wait, enters the battlefield under the control of an opponent. Okay, so yeah, you put it, you're, give it to your opponent. At the beginning of your upkeep, choose one that has been chosen. Your life total becomes four. That isn't great. Discard your hand. Oh, right, because these are for the opponent. So the opponent chooses. Either their life total becomes four, or they have to discard their hand, or give the opponent five two two black zombies. That's a cool card. I like it. Are we getting settled? They don't have double white up, so not likely. All right, again, I'm gonna save, save land war off also, because we want to cast three spells in a turn, because whenever we cast a third spell in a turn, then we get to flip Vance's Blasting Cannons into a thing that we just get to bolt our opponent a bunch. Yeah, even if the three, all three spells get countered, it just it just flips as long as you cast three things. So. so all we need to do is one of these two things has to be something we can cast. That'll work. Um, so this is a settle, potentially. I think I can just... I guess we'll attack with three. Yeah, because this is this is how I like to present myself, Gur. I am. I like how I look in dress shirts and ties, and so that's why I like to wear them. Oh yeah, blasting cannons is. I'm expecting it to do good things. They have to have like an instant speed spell to get rid of the Vance's blasting cannons here. They do not. And there we go. Transform. I haven't killed anybody with the blasting cannons ever. Ever. I've never done this. Never done this. Three damage to that target right there to fairy. Boom. Boom goes the cannons. Achievement unlocked to get the 5-1. Ending the league with a new achievement. Hawkeye's all excited about it. That's a new achievement. <laughs> Thanks, Flying Ling. Oh, Mass, my day is going awesome. Nia Legends was so much fun to play there. That was a lot of fun. Hawkeye hungry? He shouldn't be hungry yet. I mean, well, check that. He's definitely hungry, but he doesn't get to eat yet. It's too early for him to eat. All right, we got two rares and a mythic. Let's see what we got. Dead Eye Tracker. Remorseful Cleric. And Azor's Gateway. That could fit in a legendary deck. Never really wanted it, though. Final boss defeated. So yeah, Le Nia Legends was a lot of fun. Um, can't believe I'd, been, I'd wait seven days to play that deck since the last time I played it. I need to play this deck again soon. That was a lot of fun. Huatli was great. Uh, really glad we have the Huatli in the deck. Uh, I think that was better than the third Karn. Um, and yeah, this deck, this deck was quite a bit of fun. So there we go. If you're watching this on YouTube in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, if you're watching this here in chat, you know, you can get to my YouTube channel is youtube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. I can't really do the, the, the YouTube thing. 
uh, the XH Point YouTube for the link. But there we go. So thanks for watching on YouTube and hope you come back for another video. But, but again, thanks for watching.